What's up, guys? We'll get right into episode three of my United States men's national team career mode. Taking a look at the starting li lineup, it's basically the lineup against Ghana from the World Cup. Tim Howard, Fabian Johnson, Jeff Cameron, Matt Beasley, Demarcus Beasley, Beckham, and Zuzi, Bradley Jones with Dempsey and Altidore up top. And Arsenal had some big additions, mainly Mario Mandzukic, who we'll be seeing in this matchup. Unfortunately, I cut out the lineup for Arsenal, which is why I reverted to that to show my lineup. I really love the presentation with these BPL uh, stadiums, these licensed stadiums they have, and I cannot wait till next year to do a BPL career mode just for the stadiums. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do a BPL career mode right away. I'll probably start with a uh, second division or third division team to uh, begin my career mode happenings in FIFA. 15. As you can see this cross right here. And Zuzi chest misses that tap in off the rebound from Josie Altidore's header. You'll see some great defensive work all around right here from our team. Beasler comes over with that great tackle. Unfortunately, it falls right to an Arsenal player. Ball played through to Mandzukic who taps that in. He was really kept onside by Fabian Johnson, I believe. It was either Fabian Johnson or Jeff Cameron to allow that goal. So just... That defender would have stepped up. That goal would not happen, which is very frustrating. You'd like to see a little bit more uh, better positioning from our back line. We'll see a good ball played right here. The Arsenal player just cannot hit that correctly with his head. Falls to Zuzi, who hits it right at the keeper, unfortunately. But we'll get a chance on this ensuing corner kick. Just again, hit right at the keeper, but a great save to tip it over by him. We'll see on this ensuing corner kick right here. Ball played into Jeff Cameron, who's been really getting the ball, it seems like, on these corner kicks. But he heads that wide, unfortunately. And this game was really unforgiving. Sogna, uh, he presses up to intercept that ball. Played out wide to Walco. He's going to use his pace and some strength to get by the defender. Cross into Mandzukic and headed in. I really think Tim Howard could have done better to get that because that was just a weak header. But... This match was really unforgiving. I thought we maybe could have deserved maybe deserved that equalizer, but they'll take the 2-0 lead and basically seal the deal right there with just a few minutes left in the match. Good cross, some good play from Walcott, and Sogna's play to intercept was great and showed some laziness to go to the ball from Demarcus Beasley. And again, a ball played, and Beasley looks like he, he had the ball, but then, unfortunately, I believe it was Walcott got it back Cross back into Mandzukic for that goal. So Mandzukic gets his hat trick for Arsenal. Definitely just a very unforgiving match. Like I said, you see Beasley actually wins that ball back for a second. But he pushes it back out to the Arsenal player who's going to cross that with ease. To Mario Mandzukic headed right into the net. Just really unforgiving result like I said. Two 3 0 losses in a row. <laughs> we and it's not going to get any easier as we again have Manchester City in the League Cup coming up. So just a great all overall game for Manzukic to get that hat trick and continue to push him up into the golden boot race. And like I said before, I'll be using a basically B squad, all, all our reserves in this matchup against Manchester City. As you can see the beautiful stadium right there. You guys can take a look at Manchester City's lineup right here for this League Cup with the 4-4-2. Jovodic just completely demolished us in our league match. I believe it was two fixtures ago right before that Arsenal match. So we're facing them fresh off of a league fixture. And hopefully <laughs> that fixture does not go. this fixture does not go as bad as that one in the league. Taking a look at our goalkeeper Nick Raimondo for this League Cup tie. We'll see Nick Ramondo in gold, Timmy, Timothy Chandler, Jeff Cameron, Jonathan Brooks, Demarcus Beasley, Brad Davis, Julian Green, Mix Discarude, Brad Davis, Bedoya, and Wondolowski and Johansson up top. See some play right here. Good run right there. And backs up and basically sweats that to Negretto, I believe that is. So some good play all around from Manchester City. Definitely not the start we were looking for. In this match, it would have been nice to go go uh, scoreless into the half at least. We'll see. Ball headed out here. Wondolowski's going to find Julian Green. He's going to take a really big touch right here to get free. And he's going to send this this ball over the top to Johansson, who's going to hit that off the, vault, off the bounce. 
volleyed by Disgrude and just skies that one. That would have been a great chance to equalize. So we see some good play from basically a reserve U.S. squad and just goes over the top. Just a little bit lower, and that's definitely a goal. I don't think Pantiliamon had a chance at that one. We'll see Silva with some good play to Jovatic. And just Silva gets that ball again. Just think someone should have made that dead beat run to stop that cross in to Negretto. That would have basically negated that goal. It's unfortunate. Some bad defending. We'll see again. Brooks, he, for some reason, he's man marking. I think that's Rodwell right there. I just do not have any clue why he would man mark him. And that just leaves the spot open for the goal. All he had to do was play Rodwell offsides. And you would have been fine. But so two terrible streaks have come from these last three matches. So three 3 0 losses and three hat tricks. The hat tricks were by Jovetic, Mandzukic, and Negretto. Just you really need to change that form around. And we'll be looking to do that right here in this match against Norwich City. We're taking a look at our lineup Fabian Johnson, Matt Beezer, Omar Gonzalez, DeAndre Yedlin, Jones, Bedoya, Zuzi, Bradley. Dempsey and Altator with Tim Howard in goal. So two changes, obviously, with Omar Gonzalez and DeAndre Yedlin coming in for Jeff Cameron and um, Demarcus Beasley. Taking a look at Norwich's lineup, Rudy Martin, Turner, Basong, Olson, Johnson, Bennett, Tete, Fair, and Pilkington, and Gary Hooper. So definitely, this is definitely a whole match that we want to win to just really turn that terrible form around, as I said before. We'll see. Do not get on the right foot. Martin just has his way with three defenders. What a run. It's a terrible... I don't know what the hell I was doing right there. And Hooper just hits that in. Basically a wide open net as long as he did not hit it like right directly at Tim Howard. It's not completely wide open, but still tons of gold to hit at. And we'll see Zuzi with some great play. Cut back in, uses pace, some acceleration, crosses the ball to Altador. And just look at this header. Amazingly placed. Great hit, some great wing play from Zuzi. Great cross. All you can ask for right there. Definitely a great equalizer to get before the half. I'm not sure if... Yeah, I believe this is actually a home match, yes. And uh, Bradley again played right here. He's going to hit the ball over the top to Josie out the door. He's going to hit that underneath the keeper who comes rushing out. And just amazing turn, amazing turn right there before the half to go 2-1. Definitely a great reversal of fortune as just going in the half down would have probably just completely killed our team's confidence. And unfortunately, Matt Beasley goes down with an injury right there. But thankfully, I believe we have an international uh, date coming up, which will change things around. Look at this finish by Jeff Cameron. Absolute stunner right there. Uh, played over the top for some reason. Well, I mean, he came in for Beasley. He was at center back, but he was just playing ridiculously high, which allowed him to hit that volley, which was very nice to, to be able to secure that 3-1 win. And as you can see... Cameron with that goal and a brace by Altidore. Definitely a great reversal of fortunes. So unfortunately, Matt Beasley will be out four weeks with a sprained knee. But as I said before, there's going to be an international date that is going to fall into that. So maybe he'll miss one or two games max. So that'll be a big deal because him and Omar Gonzalez were just building a partnership together. And they looked very solid in that game against Norwich City. That was their first game together. And Jeff Cameron, of course, came on and had that goal. But he's really got to build something with Omar Gonzalez in the back. As I definitely do not think it's going to be John Anthony Brooks. After just that terror of marking he had in that matchup against uh, Manchester City in the League Cup. I do not know why he man-marked. In that instance, and it's probably due to low, uh, just low positioning, but we'll take a look at the table now. We're in 7th place. Pretty uh, congested around that Europa League and 4th Champions League spot. So there's definitely a chance to achieve that goal of a just a good finish. I would love to finish in Champions League, and maybe even that will even push me to do another year of this career mode. If not, I'll be happy with just doing one season and getting into FIFA 15. With that, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Stay tuned. I'll have episode 4 coming up very shortly.